What's up folks? Happy Sukkot! And we are going to check out this White Duck Outdoors 16x16 16 16 bell tent. This is a product review of White Duck Outdoors bell tent. This is the 16 and a half by 16 and a half bell tent, which I'm very pleased with. First thing I'd like to point out is how easy it is to set up this tent. I can set this whole thing up in 15 minutes. It takes virtually no effort. You don't have to sit there with a bunch of color-coded poles that you're trying to match up and it takes five hours to put your Walmart tent together. This thing is up in 15 minutes. I want to point this thing out. This is really cool. This is a little uh, chimney hatch here. It's a fireproof material. You can put a wood stove in, as I've done on mine, as you can see. And uh, I really like that. It adds a nice addition to the tent. <clears throat> and you can actually take this thing way out in the wilderness and have a way to cook inside the tent out of the elements. But I want to point out that there's only two poles that hold this entire tent together. One pole in the middle, which just sits there. And then the pole right here at the front entrance. Now this fabric, you can it, if you're going to get this tent, it comes with the option for a fire-resistant coating and a waterproof coating. I got both of them. This tent is kind of pricey, though. You're going to spend a good 900 something dollars at least if you want to get the fire resistant coating and the uh, waterproof coating now <clears throat> this tent is very toasty inside here I was actually really surprised at how well insulated this fabric is last night it was getting down into the upper 40s so my winter well wood stove actually did a good job of keeping us warm and uh, I'll talk more about this stove in a minute but we are basically glamping as you can see out in the backyard with the family this tent was sleeping six people last night and uh, if you want to use this kind of tent for glamping you can always get one of these AC units a portable AC unit just open up the window on the side and put that little a the uh the heat hose out of the back and turn this thing on in just 15 minutes this tent went from being 86 degrees in the middle of the day to 72 degrees with that ac running so i thought that was pretty impressive now it takes a little longer to cool it off with the wood or to heat it up with the wood stove in the middle of the night but you know it, it did okay we got blankets so yeah this is very big very roomy you can stand up walk around you don't have to walk all hunched over you know like in some of these other tents walking through the front door is quite simple there's zippers on both sides and uh, it even has a, uh, a screen in case you want to open up this door all the way it's got velcro and it supposedly has the best zippers money has to buy and as far as the floor the fabric is quite simple this whole thing is just attached to the to the walls so this is a complete package it just rolls out you've got your little uh, little bags and uh, there's little little windows over here. My kids at night like to open those up and look out at the stars. There's one back there behind the bed and there's another one right there. Now, this pole has a nice little spot to hang a light or an oil lamp. I mean, I have lights I can hang there, but I just assume zip tie this, this uh, inside light. Zip tie it to that and plug it in. So that this is the setup that uh, White Duck Outdoors has for anybody who wants to try a more uh, superior tent rather than that of the 
infamous Walmart tents, even the large ones. And I've been camping every year for 14 years. And I got to tell you, I am just sick of the Walmart tents. They are horrible. They don't stake down properly. They leak. When it rains, you get a face full of rainwater. And, oh, well, I forgot to talk about this. Now, in case you have some ladies in your family and they need some privacy in the middle of the night, no problem. You just buy one of these little pop-up pods, put yourself a little bucket. There you go. There's your toilet, ladies. And then, you know, hang the toilet paper up right there. No problem. And when, you're done, when they're done taking the tinkle, they just put some soil right there. No problem. Now, the boys, you know, we just go out here and pee anywhere. <laughs> so... Uh, <clears throat> On the outside, there's a little zipper so that you can plug in your uh, electrical cords and run them into the tent. And I wanted to point these things out. These are really nice, very nice little uh, gadgets. These are uh, tensioners. So whenever you're, you're staking these into the ground, you don't even have to stake all these in the ground super tight. You just stake them in kind of loose and you come up here and you grab that and you just tension it and it pulls everything tight. And uh, these stakes are heavy-duty, large stakes. This tent's not going anywhere. Last year, we, we set up a, a big Walmart tent in the backyard, and a windstorm came through, and my tent did about three somersaults and slammed into that pecan tree right there and pretty much ruined the tent. So, um, and I mean, we staked it down the best we could, and it was pretty windy. Now, today it's windy, and this thing hasn't moved much. Now, on top there, we have some nice, uh, I don't know what you call it, but it's basically, you know, when this thing fills up with, with smoke, you've got those areas up there, just like a teepee in a way to where the smoke kind of goes up there and leaves good air circulation. And um, so that's always a, an added benefit because last night when I was dealing with this smoker, things did get kind of, kind of smoky. And I guess we can talk about this win uh, this winter well wood stove. I want to point out that if you're going to put a wood stove on this fabric, you want to put something under it to where you don't melt the plastic. You don't want to melt your plastic. So I brought in this, you know, rug. I put four bricks down, and I bought this this plate, which seems to fit the winter well wood stove perfectly I'll I'll just have to give you the link for that below on where to get this but this is the large winter well uh, stove and there's not it's not terribly big or anything but it does warm the place up pretty well uh, you know you've got this little piece right here you open that up to let the oxygen come in to keep the fire going. I mean, there's there's different... You can put the fire out if you close it all the way, but you want to leave that open a little bit. And uh, what's really cool about it is it's got this glass side here that whenever there's a fire going in there, it, 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 it lights up the room a little bit. And, of course, right here we have our, our damper. If we want to keep more heat in, we close the damper or slightly close it, open it up all the way. Um... If you want to cook, all you got to do is put your pot right here, and this thing is so hot, if you touch it, it'll it'll burn your skin right off. And you've got these nice little these nice little things that open and close there. So that's always nice to have. And then, of course, if you needed to get into this top part, you've got this. You just twist it, and it comes off. Um... I don't really use that top part too much. I just open that up if I'm going to feed some of my wood in there. You know, I got my wood right here. And uh, so, yeah, th this is what it's all about, folks. Uh, camping luxuriously. And, of course, the kids, you know, they got their Xbox. Everybody's happy with that. If I didn't have all this junk in here, there'd probably be a lot more room. And this thing could probably sleep about ten people. I mean, it's just, it's a beast. It's humongous. And, uh,
but you know you're gonna pay a pretty penny for this thing if you get it it is not cheap it's not walmart this thing is supposedly supposed to last a very long time and offer several years of of enjoyment and so anyway the uh i would say this product review is a pass for me with uh just the sheer size of it all of the added benefits of the fabric being well insulated and um, at night it looks pretty cool when you got the lights on the whole thing just kind of lights up i especially like this little chimney area that that's a huge benefit for me and uh you know the zippers seem to be pretty rock solid unlike some of the other zippers that come on other tents you know um White Duck Outdoors says that they use the best zippers on the market. So we'll find out uh, soon enough how that works. But yeah, it's it's a pretty awesome tent. I'm very satisfied with it. I like it. It's big. It serves its function well. And last night it was like upper 40s. And uh, we stayed pretty warm in there. And of course if it's going to get hot, I can just turn the AC on. But more importantly for people who are not glamping and just want to camp this is an excellent tent for camping all right that does it thanks folks